So for so many thousands of years, you know, religion has been such a, a large part of people's lives. And I mean, it's still very relevant today. How has that maintained itself for so long? If, you know, it's a bunch of hooey. <laughs> oh, because uh, the fact that it's a bunch of hooey does not interfere with people believing it at all. I mean, things like the Christian myths, they're, they're utterly absurd. They're very bizarre. Uh, and that doesn't interfere with people believing them. People believe in these things because they want to believe in them. They, they like the idea of you know, a father in the sky who's looking down on them and taking care of them and loves them. Uh, they like the idea that after they die, they'll go to paradise and things like that. Uh, and, and, and that's got a strong draw. It's just that it's not true. <laughs>
the cloths that he had been wrapped in. The Shroud of Turin? Yes. Uh, well, they, they've taken chemical samples of the blood on the Shroud of Turin. Okay. And, and which version of Protestant Christianity are you from? I follow the Baptist John oh. Calvin, Martin Luther oh. movement. Those are, those are different things. Not really. Well, I was brought up Lutheran, and no, uh -huh. we, we, we have very little in common with Baptists, except, you know, general beliefs in Jesus and things like that. What are the, what are the major differences? I'm the atheist, and you're asking me? Yeah! So it's it's exactly someone else paint. may have claimed that that was the, the, the shroud that Jesus was wrapped in. I'm not saying that the Shroud of Turin is the okay. exact same so, okay. shroud. So, not the Shroud of Turin, but they have found the shrouds he was wrapped in, and they have determined yeah. this how. So what, what you're seeing, and, and, and what you see, just, I mean, I know you don't like great comfort, but you know I mean? A building doesn't come about just magically, you know? It has a builder. A building and, and, and a the, builder, yes. Right, and okay. the same way the human body, with its complexities. And are you, are you a scientist, or what are you? I'm a biologist. A biologist, okay. So you would understand that, how complex just a cell in general is, right? Okay, you're- how, how, can, how can that, that's like a factory going to work. And for, forming the human body over time, you're yes, saying I'm, I'm luck very, after luck I'm after luck after luck. I'm very familiar with this right. bogus argument. Right. Complexity is not an indicator of design. Why is that? <laughs> no, you, you're Has, the one. You're the one making this this blind assertion that because the cell is complex, that's not the case. Why is that? The natural processes are very good at building a complex structure. Your main issue with Christianity is that there well, is we're not still on evidence. If Jesus rose from the dead. I mean, can well, we agree ultimately. that those two are not complementary at all? Or, or do you think those, that could really be two people's different accounts of the same thing? I absolutely believe that yeah. it could be two different I defer people. to the onlookers to see if that's a rational position. So you're saying the, the world is trillions of years old, and through multiple chances... Four and a half billion. Four and a half, okay, four and a half billion. Okay. And where do we come up with that? Where, really? Yeah, where do we get four and a half billion years old? Uh, the primary technique is radiometric dating. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that same technique that you're talking about was used on, like, you know, it was used on lava spewing out the volcano. They radio tested it. It's four hours old. Radio tested it, and it's like it measures like somewhere in the millions of years old. So that that. Where are you getting this stuff from? I've gotten this information from books. The wrong books. No, this is all. This this is this is wrong. Well, I just want to hear what your biggest objection to Christianity is. Oh, I, I told you, it makes outlandish claims it doesn't support. Okay, you, and, you, you and you're me. saying that Christ rising from the dead is one of those examples. Sure, it's an, it, obviously it's an outlandish claim. People don't rise from the dead. That's why it's called a miracle, because it's an outlandish claim. Right? It, it, it ab is an abrogation of natural law. Well, Jesus wasn't just a human being. Right, and you said that before. That's what the book says. I agree that's what the book says. What I'm looking for is a reason to believe it. And I'm saying that faith is... is Faith is a good reason? Faith, no. Okay. Faith sure. is... That's what faith. I was going to say. Faith <laughs> is old. Well, I mean, I, I believe a creator created it. He can create anything to be as old as he wants it to be. Oh, you believe in the trickster god then? The one who no. lies to us? Well, I mean, if, that, if that's your perception of him, that's not my perception. That's what, not the god of the Bible. No, that's, that's what you're saying, though, is that, that God is willing to lie to us about the age of years. No, he, he's allowing us to see how, I mean, the, the wonder and the beauty of the earth and, and to allow a star. I mean, you can't just create time of from a star, from the light of a star to reach us like that. I mean, we have to be able to, you know, be able to test it and say, it's this far away, it would take this many light years to get there. Well, he knows that. He created it. He cre that's the mysteries of God. That's the wonderment of God. Mysteries I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I understand that you're not going to believe me and I'm, I'm not going to believe what you're going to say. That's right. right. But, so yeah, but there's there's a good reason for uh -huh. that, and that's that you're an ignorant fool, and I'm mm -hmm. an educated scientist. Uh -huh. So you know. Well, I think I, I think you and I have had an intellectual conversation. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't okay, don't well, that, that's yourself. Fine. That's no, fine. you haven't. You've been in the mind. Well, I'll just that's... tell you this. I've, I've at least been courtesy to you. You know. Yeah. And you. you you didn't just show that to me when you called me an ignorant fool. So I'm sorry. No, this I'm is sorry you this is the, this is the greatest courtesy I can show you is honesty. Okay. Well, so, thank you. Yeah.